So what about this? If that is a trend that's happening in the market, then what is the difference? First of all, let's talk about the dictionary, the word okay. trend, and the word fad. Okay. What's the difference between okay. a trend and a fad when it comes to design slash decor? So this is this is my definition. So this is the world according to Bobby's dictionary, because I do love words. So a trend is this way. It's like, what you see is that there are changes and there's influence and things that over time, it just becomes more and more entrenched and seen and it becomes more and more available and it becomes quite flexible and people will, they will like buy in, so to speak, versus a fad where they see a TV show or especially movies seem to drive this a lot, where all of a sudden, instead of like this, where the uh, manufacturers start manufacturing, first of all, it's just the really expensive stuff. And then they start getting lower price and lower price and lower price as it slowly gets more into the to the regular everyday world. With a fad, all of a sudden, everybody's got to have it. And then it's gone. And like a one hit wonder. Exactly. And so it's like shiplap, which I love. I love shiplap. But I would say to clients who are really wanting to do shiplap, I would say, stop, stop, stop. Now, keep in mind, this is shiplap. you love this. Okay, there you go. That, yeah, right. Right. There you go. So it's like, if they love shiplap, great, do shiplap. But if you're looking to sell the house in three years, I'm here to tell you, chances are it may not be the it thing. So look to see, because all of a sudden, because good of good old Chip and Joanna, love them dearly. Love them. Because of that, everybody, everybody was slapping it everywhere. There didn't seem to be rhyme or reason. And so what I like to say is, you know, do you really want to put 200 nails into your wall that three years from now, you're tired of it and you're taking it down. You have to replace that whole thing. If you love it, that's great. But there's other options to get that same look without doing all of that damage to the structure of your house. You have 3D okay, wallpaper. This? Yeah. Sorry, I'm interrupting you, but we'll get back to that That's in a okay. second. I just don't want to forget. That's okay. Yeah. With the parade of homes right now, obviously mm -hmm. it's like, you know, the builder's best. And I see a sure. lot of mm -hmm. board and batten, you know, like sure. that, you know, like it's a focal wall and then they paint it like, mm -hmm. I think the new color of this year, according to a Drew Barrymore show, that she brought on this hot high end designer it's periwinkle uh -huh. you know like the blues okay. and the purpley is sure. i love it um but is that board and batten and the wainscoting and all the focal wall stuff with the painted trendy color is that a fad that's mm -hmm. going to go away or is that a trend that's going to stay you know, it's interesting because this question. is what I'm, uh, this is how I'm seeing this. No, I'm, I'm seeing the structure of it being a trend. I'm seeing the colors used to paint it is the fad. Oh, that's good. Because keep in mind when it comes to color, there's a color of the year. Why do they come up with the color of the year? It's a marketing technique. And it's so, it, it's just a marketing technique, right? They want to keep things constantly changing so that you buy more things. So if, you know, this year it's green, then it goes to purple, then it goes to yellow. It's like you're constantly buying to keep up, right? So when you look at those things and you have that reaction, that may be a, the trend, the periwinkle. But, you know, the actual structure of those, uh, those walls, that could be 100%, 100% yummy. That could be um, timeless. I'm loving a lot of those of the walls that have like, um, I love the Greek keys that they're putting onto the walls. I usually have them painted white as where well, the same color as the trim. Oh, that's but, good. Um, yeah, you love can that. that. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. If it's a trend, they immediately grab a hold of it and they make it instead of being $500, they make it in mass for a dollar, right? Versus a trend, it comes in at $500, and over time, it might even get a little more expensive. And over time, because of the expense, people don't jump right on, but people like it. So then they start asking for it, and over time, you start getting the availability at a lower price. I see this a lot with lighting, with lighting fixtures. 
because uh, some of the incredible lighting fixtures will come on. They're so expensive. But over time, once the manufacturers are sure that there's a true demand for it, um, then they will start coming up alongside to get that look at a price point that's available to more people. Uh, and I, I say, you know, I've just seen too many people become victims of fads. And if it's something that you want to invest a lot of money with, wait six months, see what happens. If it's it's a big, just step back and just see. If you still love it, do it. If you still love it, do it. But I'm just like thinking, you know what? Mm, I just, again, Shiplap is the one that came to my mind right off the bat. <laughs>